My name is Geraldine Cotter and I'm a very good friend of John's. So you know one another for many, many years. John and myself, we were both um, part of a group called CLM. Um, it's um, Kutori de Vera, which means Visitors of Mary, and the aim is to go to Lourdes every year. Oh, lovely. But they would have a monthly social yeah. in the North Press School, and that was the first time that I came across John. A bus would come up from the Cheshire home, and John was on that bus, and that's where we met. Then we get on very well, and I suppose he always makes me laugh, and we have great chats, and you know, I really enjoy every time he comes up to our house. And St. Stephen's Day is very special because that's his day to visit us. We just yeah. love John coming to okay. see us. So that's a special day, St. Stephen's Day. We yeah. actually call it St. John's Day instead of oh. St. Stephen's Day. No, it's just, it's very special. So, and John, what does Geraldine mean to you? Um, she's an important person in your life, isn't she? Yeah? Very important. Yeah. And you, you, you have good times together. There's an unbelievable difference to what he's living, where he's living now and the old accommodation. Um, his bedroom, they all were in one dormitory. Um, then um, when they built the new um, Cheshire home, he had his own bedroom, but he had to share a bathroom. But this home is just marvellous. He's got his own front room. When I visit, he makes tea for me. It's just, it's so different. It's lovely. And he was part and parcel of designing it and picking out the pictures, the chairs, everything, it's just fabulous. So you much prefer living here, don't you? Yeah, okay. yeah, much better, happier. Now they've always been great and any time I've come to visit John, they have been very nice, all staff members. But I've, what I've noticed in the last few years is they have asked me as a friend of John's to come and be part of a review group that they have to see how John is getting on. Now while I'm just a, an observer at it, I, it's, I'm just so impressed because mm -hmm. It was all about John, all about how he was getting on, his health, um, how he was feeling, what changes. It, 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 I just couldn't believe it because where well, John, you know, he, he's on his only, he can't speak as you can see, but it, I was so impressed by what they were doing for him. Mm -hmm. and that was the day, the, the Cheshire home, remember? You were all fancy in your jacket, you were gorgeous. Now, initially at the start when I was a young girl and I used to visit John, there was the matron and there was nurses, but they've all gone out from the scene. But they were very nice and, I, you know, they'd always guide me through whatever medication you'd have to take. But I can see how independent now it is. It's, it's gone from more, as they would say, institutionalised and it's gone more like homely. Now, this again, and I repeat, this is just unbelievable, this is a home, while the other was like a care and a, more a step above a hospital. This is lovely, mm -hmm. this place is fabulous. Okay. And John tells me that you have a dog as well, I think. Oh, Sammy, and John is so funny with Sammy. <laughs> oh, he's, he's always jumping up. Uh, I, Sammy loves John and, and you know, you know um, he jumps up, John isn't one bit afraid of him, but he corrects him if Sammy is being, ah, uh, uh, he'll tell Sammy and he put him in his place. But Sammy, and it's Sammy loves John's wheelchair, just like when my boys were young, they used to be fascinated by the wheelchairs. Sammy loves the wheelchair, but if he's hanging around too much, John will tell him, ah, uh, 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 so Sammy will have to go. But he's lovely, isn't he? And when he, when John sits and watches the telly, Sammy is in between the two of us, because Sammy's a little pet and he's sitting up on John's lap. He's gorgeous and he looks like, and Sammy, Sammy knows not everybody Sammy would take to, so it just means John must be nice that he does love him. So John, <coughs> John was telling me that he gets on very well with your children and he was showing me photographs of, of them. He does, it, or like Sean, my husband and my sons, John and Raymond, they're very fond of John. He's great, I mean, John is a person, he just would get on with everyone, but he does get on brilliant with them. He's very funny. John has great sense of humour and they like that because, you know, we love the crack and we love the jokes and John is always messing with them and they love it. Function and look at you with the boys and there we go. The way in it, the develop on top of it. <laughs> but I suppose, really, I just can't believe, especially in the last few years, how life has changed for John. Um, I know his life has changed, but his social life as well. Um, I'm now meeting him for coffee, which is something I would never have done before, and my hand point is just fabulous. And then we do a bit of shopping, and then we look at golden discs, and we have a look at the CDs, and it's great to see him. We have a great time down there. He goes to concerts. I can't believe it. Every time I see him, he's 
news for me about a weekend in Killarney or somewhere and it's just fabulous and I'm so delighted for him. I really am. It's just great. His life has changed so much and for the better. I play the game of love and lost. He stopped the world and let me off. Uh, well, I'm a support worker here, like the four lads that live here at the minute. So, um, like key worker, I'm a key worker for John. So, we'd be like uh, looking up concerts, we'd be good outings, we'd be going out for dinner, we'd be meeting up with people, we do whatever he wants fun. really. We go out most weeks because uh, the lads they do have like some protective time, so you do one on one work with them and you go out and you do whatever they want to do, like activities and stuff, which is like massive. It's huge to be able to do like one on one stuff and have the time to be able to just focus on what they want to do. When you were above, I suppose, like there were so many more people up there as well that you didn't get to spend as much time, like, you know, yeah. interacting or as much time as you'd want with everybody because it was all like down to the main personal care and, you know, like the day-to-day -day running of the place. Whereas down here, it's such a smaller group and a homely environment that you get to spend time with the lads, even if it's in the kitchen having a cup of tea or making dinner, like sitting down with them in front of the telly and talking about what's on the telly and, you know, discussing the the soaps and having a laugh, you know, so it's nice. I suppose I found out more about John than I ever did, like down here than I did in the years that I was above, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just, like, mm -hmm. So how many people are living here in this house? Well, there's four. Four all together. Three other gentlemen. Four men. Yeah. Hmm. Boys club. John is the person who's been living in, in Cheshire the longest, is that right, John? Um, yeah? Uh, yes. Do you know the how? The godfather. Uh, John, do you remember what age you were when you moved into Lota? Six. You were six when you moved in. A little help sometime. So, in what age were you then when you moved over to Cheshire, Lota? 16. You're a good while here. You're like over 50 years so you've seen like loads of changes lots of people come and go couldn't get rid of you <laughs> what were things like in the bad old days in Lota? yeah I think that's the stage of John's life that he doesn't really like to talk about he just prefers talking about from when he moved here to Cheshire and how many people were in the dormitories in Cheshire when you arrived here first? Twelve people. All in the same room? Men and women? Or just men? Men. Okay. Um, Up above in St. Lawrence. In St. Lawrence years ago. They used to have brilliant, like they used to have brilliant crack and they used to have a great time at Christmas and they'd be yes. playing the piano and they'd yeah. have like parties and everything. They used to come in and even at Christmas now the Lions Club comes in and stuff and like there, there is like good times as well but like I remember before even the, the older staff would be telling me about like um, that they used to have like great Christmas parties. I think he had the activity room, there was like people coming yeah, to do activities. Yeah. He used to like, do the drawings, like the art, so it was the art room. Yeah. They were selling like selling like arts and crafts there as well that day as well and um, there was a Christmas ball wasn't there um, the studio was done up like in lights and everything it looked fabulous there's still like social occasions up there and people coming in and music and stuff wasn't there there's a few things coming up just before Christmas isn't there and they've like done up the garden up there as well like last year as well they were all involved in doing up the garden like planting the plants and it's like it's like totally different place now it's really like nice place to sit out it was they've like murals on the wall and everything it's fabulous isn't it well like as well as going to numerous concerts and um gardening and stuff he loves art like he's loads of paintings up around that he'd have painted himself and it's gone back years but recently like probably starting last year maybe the year before he's um started going to an art group in Blackpool every Friday, haven't you? We enjoyed it. It's a small group. There's about eight there, isn't there? And it's go just it's pretty easy go. They do a bit of art, have a cup of tea, have a chat. Nice social outing every Friday. It's something he loves and what he's loved like for a lot of his life. So golden far away upon a cross. My friend died for you. So if you'd like to meet him and don't know what to do, 
ask my friend into your heart, and he'll be your friend too. He's my forever friend. My leave me never friend. From darkest night. He's my forever friend. He's my forever friend.